Okay, here we're being asked to find the derivative of e to the 2x. And there's a couple of different ways to approach this problem. They all involve the chain rule. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, let y equal e to the 2x. And now I want to make a, a couple of substitutions. First, I'm going to say, okay, let u equal 2x. So the variable u is just kind of a substitution variable. And then that means that now y is equal to e to the u. And now these are two derivatives that are really easy to take. So the derivative of u with respect to x is just simply 2. The derivative of y with respect to u, notice there's a u on the other side of the equation, well, it's just e to the u. We remember that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so the derivative of e to the u is just e to the u. Okay? And in the last video, we learned that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So we have all the pieces to this puzzle. So just to be extra clear, this is the derivative we're looking for, dy dx. That's what we want to know. And to find it, we're just going to multiply these two pieces together. So let's go ahead and do that. So dy dx is equal to dy du, that's e to the u, times du dx, that's just 2. And that's our derivative. But here we, we started in x's, so we don't want to end with a u in, in the answer. So we'll just, we'll just say, hey, what was u? Well, u was just simply 2x. So this is e to the 2x times 2. Or maybe more simply, just 2e to the 2x. So that's our final answer, 2e to the 2x. And we use the chain rule to find that derivative. Um, so e is kind of a special derivative because when you take the derivative of e, it, you, it's, it's just itself. Um, and so let's just go through some, some, some more problems involving the derivative of e. So e to a power. So let's say we had e to the x squared. To take this derivative, all we're going to do, it, we, we, we could go through the same exact process, but just being clever, we're going to realize, well, hey, this is just going to be e to the x squared still. It's kind of like the derivative of the outside repeat the inside. So we're repeating this inside function times by the derivative of the inside, which is just 2x. We can do more examples. What about e to the 4x? Well, it's going to be e to the 4x. So this is like derivative of the outside because the derivative of e is itself. Repeat the inside, repeat that 4x times by the derivative of the inside, which is just 4. So e is special in this way. e is really easy to take the derivative of. You just repeat whatever you are given, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So see if you can do this one. How about e to the 3x cubed minus 4x? Well, it's just going to be, just like I said, e to that same power, you repeat what you were given, times by the derivative of, the, of, of that power, of the inside there. So the derivative of 3x cubed is 9x squared, and the derivative of negative 4x is negative 4. And this is all being multiplied, so I should put those parentheses there. 
Okay, I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video.